Hello everybody, Michelle with Creative Operation and Country Craft Creations. And today I'm sharing with you my third design team project using these exclusive, beautiful, gorgeous papers from Country Craft Creations called Tea in Wonderland. And it is absolutely a beautiful collection and really happy with all the projects that I've made with them. It They just turned out really super cute. So I wanted to do a quick run through and then we're gonna go into the tutorial and I will show you how to make this. Now this is one of my explosion boxes. I'm calling this a rectangle exploding gift box and or album. Um, actually this one is both and you can do with it whatever you want. There is a companion tutorial that I will be also um, producing or not producing but publishing today and it is all about how to make this rectangular um, explosion box which is one of the things that I've been playing with um, with that explosion board from we are memory keepers so anyways there's this is in and of itself its own tutorial on how to make this project here but there's also going to be a link in the description you can go back and look at that other kind of companion tutorial and see how to actually make all of the sizes now if you're familiar with the explosion board the explosion board by we are memory keepers is really fun and i've been having a lot of fun doing different projects with it but it makes si uh, excuse me seven different box sizes in this project i'm only using three in um Oh, I got a fuzzy there. Um, in the companion tutorial, I will show you how to make all seven sizes in the rectangular fashion. In this tutorial, we're using three of the sizes, but the three sizes we're using will also be totally um, compatible with your regular scoreboard. So if you don't have an explosion board, you can still make this box, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the tutorial. But let's kind of go through what I did. Um, I decorated this really, um, a lot more heavily, I think, um, than I usually do it, but I think it just required a lot of bling. So um, I put on the outside box here, let's talk about this. This is four inches high, four inches deep, and eight inches across. So the box is pretty big on the outside. So there's three, there's two more on the inside. And um, I used some bling that I had in my stash on the corners of the actual box and then on the top of the lid. And then I had some flowers, little flowers from my stash. This is one of the Prima flowers that came in my design team package and then some seam binding that I did a triple bow um, behind. Um, finally figured out the technique. I'm so excited and um, did that. So this was from my stash. This is from Country Craft Creations. And then this little heart charm. I found these um, Wonderland themed charms at Hobby Lobby this weekend, totally by accident. I was in there looking for something else, found these, and I just had to incorporate them in this project. So what I did was I wrapped um, a little piece of twine around the heart and gave the bunny an extra little bow on the cover. But you can see, isn't it, God, this paper is so stinking cute. I just love it. So when you open up the box, it explodes out. It is an explosion box, but this is also an album and um, you have lots of space. So on the outside box, I did the hearts like I've done before in the previous tutorials. And I, in the tutorial, I thought, you know, maybe I might put some more pattern paper on it, but then I decided, no, you know, with the scraps that I had, I think it actually looked better this way. It kind of um, was more, a little more subtle. It wasn't as busy. Um, it, so I just used the cardstock on here and I think it turned out really cute. Then each of these squares is actually a accordion type album so that you could add pictures. So there's four per little accordion. So you can actually have 24 pictures. They all fold towards the outside of the album. So that's kind of fun. So you have all those opportunities to put in some space. You could also put in white journaling cards and put some journaling on the inside if you want as well. The inner box is also decorated. I kind of kept the theme with this, the you know strings of beads here. And then flowers from my stash. I fussy cut the clock and the card from the pattern paper collection. And then I went ahead and added these, the rest of these charms. So you see there was a heart here. I used the club, the spade, and the diamond there. And I did a double bow here and then just added that to it. And I thought that kind of made it pop a little bit. And then I got to use all my charms. So I thought that was pretty cute. So then when you open up this one, 
This one also explodes out. And on this one, we're gonna create the triangular pockets and we're gonna do a triangular pocket on this side too. In the longer pockets, we have tags and a fussy cut piece of the cut aparts that I did. And then on the inner squares, we have a little booklet photo opportunity there or a journaling opportunity, whichever. And then I use some of the fussy cutting um, to cut the cut aparts out on those. And this one, I cut out a little cupcake. Is that not the cutest thing ever or what? I just love this paper. I used the bling here on the pockets as well. And then on the inside, you have a little gift box. So I used a bow and I attached it underneath that small box so that it ties around and keeps the lid on. I put flowers on the two corners there, which turned out really cute. And then when you untie this, then you can kind of fully see the decoration on the lid. So I did again, the rows of the pearls. Then I had some flowers from my stash. And then there's this little queen of hearts playing card that I put on there. And then on the inside is this box. So there's my project. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the tutorial and um, I'll see you soon. Okay, let's get started with making the boxes. Now you can use your explosion board, which is what I originally designed this for, the We Are Memory Capers explosion board, but this particular box that I'm making today using the Tea in Wonderland papers, you can totally use your regular scoreboard too. So um, just keep that in your, in your mind. I'm going to give you the measurements as we go along. Super easy to do. And again, you can use both boards. So the other thing is that um, it, during the walkthrough of this project, I'm going to refer you to another video where I use this board exclusively to make all seven sizes of this type of box just to show you how you can do it and give you the measurements for that. So these two tutorials, which the link will be down below, are kind of tied together, but this one is specifically for the design team project that I'm doing. And you can use your regular scoreboard too if you do not have this explosion board. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start, we're gonna make three boxes and um, using your explosion board, we will be using the extra, extra large score line. And you're going to need, the first sheet you're gonna need is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then you're also going to need one that's four and a half by 12. And I've kind of already done some scoring and some drawing, but we will put it together um, at the same time here. Let me grab my scoring tool here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna score your 12 by 12. This is the first um, outer box. You're gonna score it on the extra, extra large line on three sides only. So there's one, two, and then we'll go to the other side here because um, I wanna keep one side free. So three sides, you're gonna score on the extra, extra large line. That's gonna give you three rectangles on this side and then you're gonna have three squares here. Now in the corner squares on this box, you're going to put it in your scoreboard and you're going to score down the diagonal line just to where the score lines meet. And then what you're going to do is since this is the extra, extra large box, you're going to take your extra, extra large heart template that comes with the explosion board and you're going to put it down and trace around it and then we're going to cut that out. Okay, so you will do that in both of the corners here. So you should have a heart with a diagonal score on these two corners. This square here will be free and then you should have three four by eight rectangles on the bottom. Okay, so that's the first piece for the box. And then the second piece um, is going to be in your scoreboard. It's four and a half by 12. I'll just leave that there. You're gonna score on the extra, extra large line and that'll give you a half inch tab here and then your four by four squares here. And then you're going to put it in your scoreboard and you're gonna score again, extra, extra large, extra, extra large. Okay, and then again, you're gonna do the diagonals, like so, and we're gonna turn it this way to get our diagonal the way we want it to go, okay? And then you're gonna draw your hearts again, okay? So again, this is the extra, extra large box, 12 by 12 piece paper, and then a four and a half by 12 piece paper. Now, if you're using your regular scoreboard, just score it at the four inch lines, okay? And then you will have to, um, 
do the diagonals and you can do that um, a couple different ways um, you know using a ruler and your you know um, scoring tool and you can just put it down and do that diagonal score however you want to do it so um, again the four by four square so on the explosion board it's the extra extra large score line on your scoreboard here it will be at the four inch line that you'll want to score okay so then once you do that let's go ahead and do some cutting so grab your scissors here and what we're going to do is we're going to um, make tabs on this piece with the three half inch scores that we have here so we're just going to miter all of these let me get this out of the way too miter all of these right here this is going to attach to the 12 by 12 piece in just a second to make a bigger piece of paper all right and then you're going to cut your hearts out so i traced it already with my pencil i'm just going to cut actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to go like this <laughs> i'm going to go like this because i'm going to cut that corner of the heart out and then I'm just going to cut around like so. And this is the only one we're going to do the hearts on. The other two boxes, we're not going to do this. So this is just for the outer box. And I honestly really like to do the hearts because I think it's pretty on the outer box, but it also helps contain anything that's inside. Uh, because it actually does make the corners when you fold it up. So I kind of like to do it. And that's what I've been kind of leaning towards every time I make some of these boxes. All right, so you're just going to cut those hearts out like so. And then I'll tell you what, I'm going to finish this, cut these out, and then I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. I finished cutting the hearts out of the four and a half by 12 inch piece. So you should have a piece that looks like that. And then I also finished cutting out the hearts in the 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I did that. Now, if you are using a regular scoreboard, you can just leave these squares and then just do the um, center score and then just keep them in a, in a triangular shape or you could cut them off at the diagonal doesn't matter however you want to do it is fine um, so then when you're done with this we need to attach this to here so I'm going to turn it to kind of the back side and the only score that I'm going to do is the score for the tabs right now as far as folding and burnishing it makes it easier to put this on if you wait until this is attached before you do any of the folding and the burnishing so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that down and we're gonna add glue and then we're just going to glue that down so I'm gonna turn it so I can see it a little bit easier and then I just filled my glue bottle so we should be good to go on my glue and then I'm gonna add yay it worked this time hot dog Gonna add my glue to my tabs. And then we're gonna glue it down. Now, um, I'm just gonna put it right to the edge of the paper. So we're gluing it to the triangles on the inside here. And I'm using the score lines and also of course the edge of the paper to kind of make sure that everything is lined up really, really well. Now I should say that I am using artisan um, cardstock in black and I'm also using art glitter glue both of which come from country craft creations at countrycraftcreations.com and then the one thing I didn't do I need to erase my pencil marks on the black here um, for this project and then the, of course the paper is tea in wonderland which is exclusive to country craft creations so there we go so now you should have one whoops I'm making a mess one big piece of paper and you should have hearts in the four corners you should have three rectangles down the middle and then two squares right here so then we're just going to continue folding and burnishing all of our score lines and then uh, we just have to add our pattern papers to it and then i made some elements that are going to go on the inside of this box 
that I have most of them already done. They're really super simple, really super simple. So once you get the four done, then you need to fold your heart to the inside and then fold it back. And then I'm just going to make sure that my corners are lining up. Nice. So make sure that this edge and this edge meet because we want our box to be as square as absolutely possible. Okay. And again, on all four sides. So that will create the corners of your box. All right. All right, so we have our box inside and outside. So we will need to cover with patterned paper. I've already got that done So um, as far as cut out. So I've got my outside papers. I have my inside papers ready to go. And then I also have the hearts that are going to cover the inside hearts here. Now let's talk about that for just a second. So I've already got these ready to go. Um, what you do is you grab your heart templates again. Now, remember, you used your extra, extra large heart for the corners to cut the corners out of the box. But for matting it, no matter what you're going to use, whether it's, you know, the cardstock or the pattern paper, you want to go down one size. So you're going to use your large heart, which will go right inside this heart, if you can see that. So you cut those out of your pattern or paper or your cardstock. I'm using cardstock this time. And then you just simply split it down the middle and then you'll have your two pieces that will mat your hearts just perfectly. So I've got those ready to go. I've got my papers ready to go. I'm gonna cover this inside and out and then I will be right back and show you what it looks like. I finished covering my box with my pattern paper and on the hearts on the inside, I used baby blue artisan cardstock that came in my design team package. And I may go back and look at my scraps and see if um, I have enough to do some large hearts. And I'll use some pattern paper on the inside and then have them be double matted. But at this point, I'm going to leave it like this. And then my outside of my box looks like this. So I think it's looking really pretty. Um, did not put any paper on the hearts on the outside because those are going to fold in and be the corners of our box. And so nobody's really gonna see those anyway, so I'm just gonna leave those. So then what I'm gonna do is I made these elements that I'm going to put on my board here, and I'm just making sure that I got them in the right direction. But um, these are accordion album pieces that I'm gonna use. And the idea of these are that they will open up and you'll have extra space for pictures. So this is not only a gift box, but it is also a photo album. So what I did was I made six accordions and they're really super simple. It only takes two pieces of cardstock total. And each of the strips are three and a half by 10 and a half. And then I scored them in my scoreboard. And this is my regular scoreboard here. And I scored them at three and a half and at seven. And then what I did, let's take this off, is fold them accordion style. Okay, let's get this out of the way here for a second. And go ahead and fold and burnish and make sure everything looks nice and neat here. I'm gonna nudge that just a little bit because it's a little crooked. There we go. And then I took a piece of blue artisan cardstock. So these are three and a half by three and a half. I cut these at three and three eighths by three and three eighths and then three and a quarter by three and a quarter for the pattern paper. And then I'm just gonna put that on the outside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so it folds away from the box. So for example, when we put this down on here, it will fold away from the box. And that's going to give us two, paper, two opportunities for a photo here, and then when you look at it from the side, two opportunities for photos here. So it's gonna be kind of cool. And then, so then just glue this down on the top, and then you can decorate these um, as you wish, however you want to do that. And I used seam binding for the closure. So I just took my score tape on the back and put a piece, I'm eyeballing it since it's a small kind of 
element here. And I took about two feet of my seam binding and I crinkled it up with the water to make it nice and crinkly. I love that look. And then um, this seam binding also is from Country Craft Creations too. I got it in my, it was in my um, stash because I went ahead and bought spools because I ended up, I didn't realize how awesome seam binding actually is till I started using it from Country Craft Creations and it is amazing. You can buy it by the spool and you get like a ton of it. So I'm just gonna make sure that I got this lined up and I'm going to put it right in the middle here. Just like that. And open it up, make sure that it's down. And then you see how it's gonna open up like that. So I made six of these two for the rectangular panels, and then, um, you know, two for the sides. Does that make sense? Yeah, four for the panels, two for the sides. So then just do that, and then I will cut my seam binding edges, and then I'm just gonna glue those down, and then we'll be done with that, and then we'll work on the lids. So I will do that, and I will be right back. So I put all the elements on the inside of our large box, and then it's going to just, you know, fold up and that will be the outer box of our project. And then when you open it up, then you'll have these awesome fold outs that will give you opportunity for pictures. So there's that. So then the next thing we got to do is make the lid for this. And in the accompanying tutorial that I did, um, I gave lid sizes for snug lids, and then I gave lid sizes for regular lids that will give a little bit more slack so that when you add elements and the box actually kind of puffs out a little bit, then you'll have a little bit more room. So we're going to use the regular um, lid sizes for this project. So I'm going to put this off to the side, and then I'm going to grab our lid supplies, and our lid is going to measure six and a half by ten and a half and this is for an extra extra large lid so on the explosion board you always score your lids on the actual lid score line okay on all four sides so on your regular scoreboard if you're choosing or if you have this and you're using this then you're just going to score at one and an eighth okay all the way around so that's that kind of the conversion from this scoreboard to the explosion board. And then what you're gonna do is do your pinwheel cuts to create your lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the side straight, and then I'm gonna make this little square here in the corner a tab, and then I'm just going to turn it and do the same thing. So it ends up, every tab is facing a different direction, and that will kind of give a tab on each of the sides of your box. On a larger box, not such a huge big deal to do it this way, but on a smaller box, then it does actually add a little bit more strength to the lid, So, um, and it gives a little bit of um, tab on each side. So if you just get in the habit of doing that, then that works out pretty good. And so then the next thing you're going to want to do is cover your with your pattern papers on the outside of your lid. So I've got those cut out ready to go. So I'm going to double mat the outer top lid because it's, you know, the outer top lid. It's kind of like the cover of your album. So I'm giving it a little extra decoration here. So I've already cut my papers. And... We're going to put this down. Now, just so that you know, the lid measurement, except for the you know sides, is eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And that's gonna give you a little extra room for your box because it will poof out just a little bit since we're adding elements and we're adding insides or you know other boxes to our project I just got glue totally on the wrong side <laughs> okay so all right put 
Let's do this. So you're going to cover all four sides. And the really fun part about these lids, and especially if you're doing um, the measurements this way, is that the strips that you need to cover them are only, they only need to be an inch wide. So if you have inch wide strips, then you're gonna be golden for this project. So we're just gonna do that. Really super quick here. Okay, just like that. Doing this kind of quickly. I really want to get this tutorial done and published today. Because I said I would, I promised I would. And of course... My dogs have been quiet all morning while I did my chores, and as soon as I want to sit and start crafting, they're out there going crazy, and I don't know what's going on, so. All right, so here we go. Okay. Okay, so then you're going to turn this over, and um, so we've got our outside lid done. We're going to turn this over, and we're going to cover just the inside only for our lid. Come on, glue. And then we're going to create our box lid. <laughs> and it's just, it's super simple, but you don't want to cover the sides of the inside until you make the actual lid because then that will cover up the tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and I should have folded and burnished before I did that, but oh well. We can still do it. It's no big deal. And then we're going to create our box and or lid I should say the sides and then we're going to cover the insides and then our lid will be done all the other lids we're going to make two other lids for the other boxes and except for the size of the lids the process is exactly the same so I went ahead and made those to kind of you know get the tutorial a little bit you know shorter not as lengthy Okay, so we're just going to glue our sides down. I'm going to use some clamps here. There we go. And one dog keeps looking for his daddy, and daddy is at work today. And he is daddy's dog, so that makes sense. Maybe, I don't know, he's missing his daddy. Okay, just a little glue on those tabs. Okay, and our lid is done. And then the only thing we have to do is put the pattern papers on the inside once that dries. All right, so that's pretty easy. Now those pink clamps, I don't know if you guys have seen those before. Um, oh my goodness, got them at the Dollar Tree and they are absolutely amazing. I love them. You get like six of them for a buck. And they work great. So if you have a Dollar Tree near you, I would totally suggest getting them because they work fantastic. All right, so I'm just gluing down my papers for the inside of my lid. And then that lid will be done, except for, of course, decoration. And then we can move on to our next layer, which will be the medium box. Now you'll notice too, if you've been following my channel, um, I've made quite a few different um, explosion boxes and I've usually made all 
seven sizes of them. But on this project, I'm only making, I'm only making three. And I did that on purpose because not only did I want to, but then this could also be a fun, easy project to adapt to another scoreboard because you don't have to fuss with all the different sizes on your scoreboard. So um, the sizing was easier, the scoring is easier. And then also you can put, um, since it's a gift box, you could also, you know, like add album elements to it and you have plenty of room to do that. And then plenty of room for decorations because you'll have lots more room in between the different layers of boxes. So um, I did do that on purpose. But mostly because I just wanted to. I just felt like it. Okay. Box is covered. Or box lid, I should say, is covered. And we have our box. And then we'll just put that on. And I'll show you what it looks like. Just like that. All right. So the outer box is done. This box will measure four inches tall. Four inches this way. And then eight inches this way. So it's a nice size box. So you could stop here and use this as a gift box. But we're going to keep going. We're going to make some more. So here is the medium size. So I already made the lid. The lid for the medium box is five and a half by eight and a half. And again, you're going to score either on the lid line of your explosion board or at one and one eighth on your regular scoreboard, all four sides to make your lid. So it's made exactly the same way as I made the other one. Now this one I did decorate already. So I used some bling from my stash, some flowers from my stash, and then I fussy cut out this card and this watch here and put that on the cover and so that kind of really kind of blinged it up don't you think and then on the inside I fussy cut out the teacup and then I put a, a line of bling along the edge of the teacup so I thought that was really pretty nice decoration there's going to be plenty of room for dimensional decorations on your lids because we're using you know only a few of the sizes of boxes so you're going to have that much more room to play with so there's our lid and then um I'm got the box actual box here so you're going to need for the medium box you're going to need a piece of um, paper that's 12 by 9 and in your scoreboard for your explosion board you're going to score on the medium line on all four sides this time because it's only one piece of paper that we have to deal with okay so we're going to do medium on all four sides if you are using your regular scoreboard then you're going to score at three inches on all four sides. Okay. So you'll just do the same thing, except you're going to score whoop, at the three inch line on all four sides. All right. For the medium box. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a few little um, extra things with this. So let me grab my mat here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut off all four corners. So let me grab my knife. Here we go. And my ruler. And I'm just going to line up the corners here and cut them off. All four corners. You could also put this in your um, cutting tool if you want, you know, your, your Fiskars cutter or whatever you want. I just think it's easier to do it like this at this point. Okay, so we're going to do that. So all four corners are cut off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this so that these triangles actually make pockets. So I'm going to do a pinwheel cut again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, it doesn't really matter which way you start, um, but I'm just going to cut up one side. Just make sure it's the same side and then turn it and then cut it up one side. Okay. So you're always cutting on either the right or the left and just go straight up the score line. Then we're going to fold and burnish all of our score lines. Okay. 
And then if you've seen my other explosion board projects, then you kind of know where we're going with this. The triangles are going to fold over and they're going to glue down and they're going to create pockets. And we're going to have pockets on all four sides. And I have already made elements to put inside. So what we're going to do is first thing you need to do is you need to cover all of the inside pieces. So actually, let's do this. Let's do the outside first, and then I'll be right back. So I have my medium box covered inside, and I have it covered outside. Now, we're not going to cover the bottom because that's going to be glued onto the previous layer that we just made. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to glue these triangles down and create pockets. Really super simple to do. And I did them pinwheel so that the pockets are all kind of, you know, going in different directions. So that's kind of fun to do. And I'm just putting a thin, thin line of glue right at the bottom. Okay, so just four of those. Just like that. All right. Then what I did was we need to take some pattern paper and we need to cover those triangles. So these triangles, if they were to be the squares, those are the squares of the box are three by three. So in order to mat these, you're going to cut squares that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then you're just going to cut them at the diagonal and that's going to give you the perfect mat for your triangles. So we're just going to glue those down real fast. So you'll just need two squares again of pattern paper that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and then cut them at the diagonal. And that'll give you the perfect mat for that. Isn't this a cute project? It's fun and I love these papers. It's just super fun with these papers. So this is also, this is not only like a little gift box, but this is also, you know, an album as well. And the fun part is, is that we've adapted this so that you could use a regular scoreboard with it. We're only making three boxes, so you can do a lot of dimensional things with it. As far as the accordions that we made on the other level, uh, you could make them longer if you wanted to by just attaching a couple strips together. And you could make even more pages if you wanted to because the bulk is okay because of, you know, not having two other size boxes in between the layers. So it's going to work out really nice. All right. And then, so now we have our pockets done. What I did was I took some of the scraps of the blue artisan cardstock and I made tags. So these tags are two and three quarters by five and a half. Covered them with, whoops, I'm gonna throw it down. Cover it with pattern paper. Um, I put an eyelet in and some seam binding and then I took some of the cut aparts from the package and decorated them. So you'll have one for each pocket here. Right there for the long pockets. And then for the shorter pockets, I just made a little booklet out of a piece of scrap. And I believe this one was two and a half by two and a half. Yeah, two and a half by two and a half. And oh, I did fussy cut a cupcake out of a piece of the scrap on this one. And then this is part of a cut apart that I put on this one. And then these will go in the side pockets here like so. And then I also, because I had more cut aparts left over, I cut a couple of those out. So you could either put them there or you could put them here. So my dog's barking now. Isn't that great? <laughs> Man, I'm having fun with this tutorial today. I keep getting interrupted and all that stuff. So, okay. So then this just closes up like so. And there is our middle box. So the last one we're going to make is our small box. And this is an actual box um, that we're going to make because it's going to be the gift box. So I did go ahead and make the lid. The lid is four and a half by six and a half. And if you use your explosion board, you're going to score it on the 
um, lid line, excuse me. So this is the lid, so you'll score it on the lid line. And if you're using a regular scoreboard, then you're going to put it in your scoreboard and you're gonna score it at one and one eighth. And that will match the same. So four and a half by six and a half, score it either on the lid on all four sides or at one and one eighths on all four sides. And then again, I did the bling around the edge and then I did some flowers. And then I don't know if you can see this, but the, see this cute little charm, it's the queen of hearts. I found that at Hobby Lobby this weekend by accident and it was like, I have to buy it for this project. I mean, it's just perfect, right? And then I just took a little bit of twine and tied a bow through the top and just decorated that pretty easily. And then on the inside, I put a, another one of the cutouts and, <laughs> and a couple of pearls and went ahead and decorated the inside too. So I just thought it was super cute. So there's the other lid. Now we're going to make the box. Let's get rid of this and this. And this is my note, not to forget. So the extra, extra small box is one piece of cardstock that's eight by six. And when you use your scoreboard here, you're going to score it on the extra, extra small line on all four sides, or on your regular scoreboard, you're going to score it at, whoop, boy, I'm doing that all day, two inches on all four sides, okay? So that corresponds to that. And then we're going to create the box shape, just like we did the lid. So I'm going to cut up the side and do the pinwheel cut. This box is two inches deep, two inches wide and four inches long. So this will accommodate a nice little present. And of course, on all of these boxes, since there's really um, a lot of room, you could, you could put other things, you know. If you eliminated this box, you would have a three by three by six box if you just use the extra, extra large and the medium. Hope that makes sense. Um, when you watch the tutorial that kind of goes along with this, um, you'll see the different um, size boxes that you can make using your scoreboard. There's lots of them. You could make a huge album with this. Okay, so for the outside. So my note said put the ribbon under it so it wraps around, which is what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my score tape. My dog is flipping out. Um, and he's fine. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do this. Find the middle of my score tape and put that down, so right in the middle. It's gonna be on the bottom. We're not gonna cover this part with pattern paper because it's gonna be glued inside. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put my pattern paper on the outside and I will be right back. So I have my ribbon on the bottom outside of my box and I put my pattern paper on the outside of the box. Now we're gonna flip it over and I'm going to put the pattern paper on the inside, just the bottom only because we have to build our box. This one is actually going to be a box um, and we need to cover the sides just like we did with the lids. So I'm gonna do this and you know, again, I totally did not um, score or excuse me, bold and burnish my lines, but that's okay. I'll still do it. We can still do it. Okay, so we're doing this and then we got to build our box. So we're going to just fold our tabs up and build our box. like we did the lids, so we're just gonna do that. And you can see the smaller the box, the more the tabs actually do help to reinforce it. Remember to fold that in so I don't have to bend anything. Okay. So all of the um, dimensions for this project will be in the description. 
And I also have the link to kind of the companion tutorial that goes with this. Um, it can be a tutorial in and of itself. And it also um, can, um, you know, also goes with this. So once we're done with that, then we can cover the insides of our box. And then we're done. And then we just have to put it together. And then I have to finish decorating. And then we're good to go. So let's... Do that. I had to check something really quick on my camera because something didn't sound right. Okay. My doggie is not happy with me right now. Okay, box is done. So then the lid will go like this on our gift box and then we'll tie our little bow around it and it will be part of the decoration and it will also hold the present in there and leave a little bit more, you know, intrigue as to, oh my goodness, what's in the box, right? So here we go. So there, there's that. And let's trim off the ends a little bit. And there you go. So now all we have to do is add our boxes into the layers. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Now, um, the other thing you'll note if I um, you've seen my tutorials before where um, I've made these boxes, if you're making all seven sizes, there's really no need to cover the bottoms insides of the boxes, you know, of the layers with pattern paper because they don't show very much. I mean, just like really minuscule paper shows. But since I am eliminating two sizes of boxes in between each of my layers, um, because I'm making three instead of seven, there's going to be a lot of space showing. So I want to go ahead and um, make sure that I cover those with pattern paper. And then we're just going to glue these down. And I'm going to finish that part and then I will be right back. Okay, so other than decorating, I have the project done. So this is the Tea in Wonderland paper that is exclusive for Country Craft Creations. And I have created this gift box slash album with the papers. And I just think it turned out really, really cute. Now, I do need to do some more decorating on the on the lid here but other than that it is um, pretty much done so when you have this and it opens up it's it's going to be four inches tall four inches wide and then eight inches um, across so it's a nice big size rectangular box and again the uh, link to the companion tutorial that's going to go with this is going to be down below so you can see all of the different sizes and how i did that and kind of what i came up with with it but um then you open it up, it explodes out. You have this really pretty, big, big explosion box. And then each of these elements, if you untie them, are actually a photo album accordion that will fold out and give you lots of room for pictures. So they all do that. And there's six of them there. So let's see, two, four, two, four, let's see, six. There's 24 pictures that you could put in here. Um, I might go back and put some extra pattern paper on the hearts, but at this point, I mean, it still looks really, really stunning as is. So then the second box, the first box was the extra, extra large if you're using your explosion scoreboard. And then the middle box is the medium box. It explodes out. It has pockets here which contain booklets on the ends, and then also a pocket here which contain a tag and one of the cut apart labels and you can do a little journaling in here if you want to so we have that and then we have our inner box which is the extra extra small box and this actually measures two inches tall two inches wide 
and then four inches so it can hold a nice little present and it unties and there you go there's a box in there you can put a nice present in here um so this is my project here and i will obviously have pictures of the decoration for you you've probably already seen that but i will get that finished but here it is so this is my design team project for country craft creations please visit country craft creations at countrycraftcreations.com and get your supplies and i will be back soon with some more tutorials thanks a lot bye bye